lettering that is the very uh, one of the important uh, topic in the engineering drawing lettering because in the engineering drawing the one part of the engineering drawing that is a lettering the other one is the graphics so today i will discuss about the lettering uh, where we use the uh, text uh, so all the text uh, that is written in the dimension in the notes or in the title block etc so uh, for that all purpose we needed text so text on engineering drawing is used to communicate non graphic information non graphic information for example 28 millimeter that is not the graphic information that is non graphic that is word language for the communication of that we use text as a substitute for graphic information in those instances where text can com can communicate the needed information more clearly and quickly you can understand the best way to write the dimension you have to write the letter like that is 28 mm 26 inch 22 feet 3 feet etc so that is the best way to write the uh, with the help of lettering so here you can see both things are present graphics language and the word language so both are needed here notes title block okay uh, object features you can see dimensions and notes notes these are all used by lettering so for writing these letters you should have proper skills uh, to write these letters and there are some set of rules so that's why there is separate topic that is lettering so there are different standards available uh, uh, in the different books so nc japanese australian british standard iso so i am dis discussing uh, nc in nc use a gothic textile either inclined or vertical but in this course i will discuss uh, most of the time uh, vertical gothic style use all capital capital letters but in this case uh, in this course i will discuss both capital letters and uh, lowercase letters uppercase letters or lowercase letters use three millimeter for most text height uh, but for our uh, class exercise we use five to eight millimeter space between lines uh, of text is at least one by third of text height for example this line and this line or when we write on the drawing the space should be one by third of the text height basic strokes for uh, writing any object in engineering drawing these are the basic strokes needed for the uh, writing the lettering so that is straight slanted that is inclined horizontal and curved for example when you write i you need stroke uh, downward just uh, place your pencil here and move it downward up to that position that is uh, straight stroke for writing uh, writing a letter you need slanted stroke and horizontal stroke one two three you have to also follow the stroke same way first write one then two then three then you will be able to write a proper letter okay please follow the strokes the third one uh, that is good example b uh, comes almost all the strokes one then write two three four then fifth stroke then sixth stroke okay then you will uh, draw uh, write the b with uh, with good positioning and with a beautiful uh, uh, graphic uh, beautiful uh, display here are the uh, letters of abc uh, uppercase letters and numbers so you can see all the strokes are mentioned on each letter you have to uh, follow these strokes for uh, for drawing uh, for the drawing when you do the uh, exercise of lettering i one two three e l v h all the j u okay so eight three b nine for nine one two three when you follow the strokes the objects will be written similarly o uh, zero first go left then go follow right then you will be able to write strokes lowercase letters 
I L T R J F V Y all the strokes are also given uh, the the height of the strokes the whatsoever the height of the capital letters that is 2 by 3rd the height uh, of this uh, lowercase letters stroke sequence now I will show one by one uh, each stroke
now you will see for the lower case letters v w Now, uh, when you do the lettering, sorry, then you can see here the word written with the proper lettering, with proper height, with proper spacing by following the strokes that I have shown in the previous slides. And here you can see if you uh, do not follow the rules, you can go for this, not uniform in style, not uniform in height, not vertical, these are inclined. Here you can see all the vertical and not uniform in thickness of stroke area between the is not good so you can see if you write the proper lettering and follow the strokes that i have shown in the drawing so you will end up with this good lettering now there is a one beautiful example here when you write a letter uh, word then uh, left a space of letter o here all left a space of letter O dimensions space O or space in millimeters unless otherwise space specified now I will I will remove the O letter here you can see now that is best written uh, lettering uh, that we use on the drawings all dimensions are in millimeter unless otherwise specified so that's how we do the lettering in the engineering drawing so that's all for today's lecture here is some tip uh, class rules come early in the class do not wear sleepers do not allow phones uh, eatable things and keep quiet that is one major thing for uh, following the class rules and how to get an A in the engineering drawing 
attend the classes regularly prepare yourself prior to class like uh, read the topic uh, which will be discussed in the coming class come earlier be proactive if any doubt ask at the in the class or during the class or after the session uh, do your homework and assignment individually as well as in cooperative learning environment do not skip quizzes and tests so and the exams so that's all for today's lecture have a nice day